Hello and welcome to V8 TechWorks. Today we are going to look at this expense tracker application whereby we can be able to add our expenses here. We can be able to see our reports. Also we can be able to do things like derision and also we can be able to also be able to edit the expenses. And also we can be able to search. For example here I can search for food like that and also we can be able to click here and delete if i want to delete this expense for birthday i can click here and you'll be able to see it will reload and then you can see now that that part for we have deleted the food expenses the other thing is that here we have a repair and uh, when you delete for example you can see your report changes here for example we don't have birthday here also here for example i want to edit this repair my repair here i can i can do that i can be able to come here and uh, edit now here i can add something like uh, it's not a repair i can add something like um, maybe maybe um, snacks let me add snacks here and here i can enter the amount maybe it is uh, 20 dollars and here also i can uh, edit the date maybe it's date 17 and then may 2024 and then when i update this it will load again and this time you'll see this one is snacks and also if you come to report here you'll be able to see the snacks here and uh, you can see for the halloween we used 1500 for the food here we have used 245 dollars and the the one that is small here in this pie chart is this one for snacks which is 20 dollars and also down here you can be able to see this total you can be able to see this total here which is um, a total of 1765 for all our expenses so let's try and add another expense so for example here i want to add another expense and let let us say this expense is a uh, internet internet expense like that and here actually i can add also amount actually here i should add amount not uh, like the name of the snacks so i'm going to add like maybe the internet i used maybe something like 50 dollars as an expense and also here i can choose the date for example here i can add the date was 12 march or 12 uh, may 2024 that is and then i can be able to add that expense and when i come here and reload again you'd be able to see we have this internet expense here and also when we go back to our expense report here we can be able to see in our pie chart that this this one has been added we have uh, this part that we are calling internet and uh, internet is 50 dollars so not only that this application is uh, is uses ad, um, uses automation because when you spend more than ten ten thousand dollars it will send you a warning email so let's do that and uh, for example here let me add another expense that i will add maybe it's a maybe something like a, a car maybe so or maybe let's add here like a holiday so a holiday and then here i add like the amount that i used i used something like ten thousand dollars here and then i'm going to also add here the date and uh, let me add the expense so when i add this expense here and then when you come also to the code here you'll be able to see we have emails that are being sent here so so this one is automation exactly when the total comes to more than 10,000. It will be sent an email and then let me show you the email. Uh, so let's see the email that you are being sent. So if I come to my email here, you'll be able to see emails that are, have been sent. So we have that part of automation. So let me click here and you can see here a warning. Your total expenses is 10,000. Please review your expenses. So you can see here your total expenses is uh, $10,000. Please review expenses. So that is it. That's something of the sort. And also that is the, the main work of the, 
the background services because in our application we have some part that is called background services and i will show you how to do that so here we have our expense tracker which is our front end we have our back end here which we have built using node.js and we have connected to our mongodb also we have background services this is the application that is responsible or this is the part that is responsible by for checking databases if you have spent more than ten thousand dollars and then sending you an email automatically to your inbox or maybe to someone who want or maybe where you want to send the email so this is the automation because this background services is running behind the scene and then checking the database uh, after every minute after every minute checking if you have already spent more than ten thousand dollars and then it will send you an email so let me show you how this application also is structured so in this application is a simple application for beginner which is beginner friendly and then it will show you also how to make a very efficient application and how to make the concern a separation of concern when it comes to creating application for a start here we have our front end a front end we are going to use react and uh, here also we have our backend that we are going to use node.js and also here this one for the node for our backend it will be responsible for things like CRUD operation creating expenses in our database and also fetching the data from our dat databases things like updating and also derision so from our mongodb also we'll be having background services here and the background services is the application that will be running after every time that we'll set and then it will be checking database for maybe expenses if all the total expenses have reached more than ten thousand dollars and then it will send a warning email and to tell you to review your expenses so also you can be able to see that background services only interact with a deep database and it it interact with the same database with our backend here so it is interacting only with our database not not even not it is not actually interacting with the front end and also it is not interacting also with our back end here so that is the main work of this application and also in this application i'm going we are i'm going also to show you how to use uh chat gpt also to be able to code your application so at some point i'll be showing you some prompt that i used and how i use chat gpt to be able to make my work easier when i'm coding so for example here you'll be able to see some props that i have built and i'll give you for free also i'm going to add the the github or the link of this code to the description of this video so that you'll be able to clone it and uh, use it or maybe modify it if you want also you'll be able to get the full access of this code here in the description of the video so that is what i was going to show you so they are going to build this application in a series of videos and uh, you can follow along and you can also make sure that you clone the code and i will be adding the link of my github or the rip repo where i'm going to push this code to so that you can clone it and when you are following the video you can also be checking so that that is what we are going to do also another thing is that uh, how you can support this youtube channel is by liking this video and also subscribing to this youtube channel because i noticed like 80 percent of those people who watch this youtube channel have not subscribed so you can kindly do that and if you feel more generous i will add my paypal email in the description of this video so that maybe if you want to donate you can donate there so see you in the first video where we are going to start coding this beautiful application